Hi, from the Dolomites, Italy, where it's summer. We're Maya and Emre, and we're getting ready for the quintessential European mountain experience, the Alpine Hut, with delicious South Tyrolean food at the end of almost every hike, no matter how remote or how high the peak. Our quest is to find the best hut in Val Gardena via an easy hike. We're looking for a place with a killer view, fantastic local food, and really nice people. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Thank you. Let's first take a look at where we are. The Dolomites are a vast section of the European Alps, famous for their pale and dramatic limestone mountains and designated as a UNESCO heritage site. Our base is a house in Selva, the highest village in the steep valley called Val Gardena, about 45 minutes from Bolzano. After talking to the experts, the hunt will start in the meadow below Seceda Peak on the north side of the valley. So let's go! We're going to cut out the lower forest walk by taking the gondola up to the lower reaches of the meadow. And we can see already this is going to be an amazing day. We decide to make a big circle to hit all the panorama points on our map. And our lungs heave in the thin air. It's 2100 meters up here, that's almost 6,900 feet. From here, the gondola station looks like a speck down there to the right. Wait up! What is that music? It's hard to leave. Majestic views, surreal performance, edelweiss, and fields of alpine flowers. But we're headed up even higher. This hut is really cute, but our destination is the Troyer hut just below us. The views there are supposed to be mind-blowing and they make all their own meats and cheeses. So we're going to stop there for our first course. We're out of breath and in total awe. Seven spectacular mountain groups surround us. What you're seeing on video hopefully looks amazing but it just can't capture the real majesty of the view. It's just impossible to relay the feeling of the mountains looking down on you and their immense power. We feel grateful to be in this natural wonder as we begin our meal. Troyer brings us a basket of South Tyrolean bread called Schüttelbrot. Schüttelbrot is a local cracker bread that used to be made in communal kilns and stored through the winter. Now you buy it from a special shelf in the bakery. And while it makes a good frisbee, it's so tasty you'll fight over the spoils. This one's really, really, really crispy. Crunchy, like almost tastes like it's fried, but I know it's not. It's baked. And the amount of cumin is pretty yummy too. And it has some other herby spice and I'm not quite sure. Maya orders homemade cheese with a green salad that's all kinds of mini salads. I ordered a hearty vegetable soup with a homemade sausage. They're both deceivingly simple yet full of flavor. Wow, what a great meal. Troya Hut scores high on all our criteria, but with so much ahead of us, we're not ready to award a winner yet. Buckle up, because it's going to be a 500 foot climb to our next hut. Whew, here we go. The summit at the Seceda scares us. This razor edge makes you feel like you'll tip over into the Val di Funes and disappear. We 
With the summit behind us, we're so ready for our main course at the Sophie Hut. Emery orders Grustel, a popular hiker staple of eggs, smoked bacon, and fried potatoes. And I order Schlutzkropfen. While we wait, the kitchen brings us a surprise. Rising little freebie, a octopus salad. The kind I like it. I don't expect to see this in a landlocked mountainous place. <laughs> this is a half moon ravioli stuffed with spinach and ricotta. And then on the outside, they drizzle butter and Parmesan cheese and chives. And then it all like oozes together and into the pasta. It's absolutely delicious. Yum. Hey, Grandpa, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. That's good. At the Sophie Hut, the staff are friendly. The octopus and my pasta were amazing. There's a killer table for eight on the edge and a really nice party vibe on the lawn. This fantastic place is still worth a visit, even if Emery's dish is a little bland and overcooked, and lots of people bike and walk in your view. We feel really proud of the 100 floors we've climbed and I can't wait to head out again tomorrow to complete our quest for the best alpine hut and tell you who the winner is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Back at home, we watch the clouds and sun play on Gruppo di Sella while we plan the next day. Tomorrow we will head to the other side of the valley to the Alpe de Susi or Saiza Alm, which is Europe's largest and most magnificent alpine meadow. And there we will check out three more huts. Can't wait! Yum yum yum! It's morning and Emery's speeding a little to get through the control point before the road closes for the day at 9 a.m. From the car park at Campach, we're heading up the meadow toward Punta di Oro. It's a shockingly huge meadow and framed by the gorgeous mountains we saw from afar yesterday. This too is hard to capture in a camera. You have to come see it for yourself. We spend far more time than we planned soaking up the amazing scenery until our stomachs complain that we're two hours late for lunch. We follow the signs to the Gosner hut where we'll have the first course of our progressive lunch. The hotel we're looking for. This is the hotel we're looking for. That is it right there. This little part of the meadow is our favorite section of the hike so far. With the Sasso Group Mountains on one side and the Schlern on the other. Now I can smell the smell even better. Right, you smell onion. Yeah, onion, potato. The menu is full of unexpected choices and we take longer than usual to decide what to order. In the end, I choose the ravioli filled with roast suckling pig topped with a butter and tomato sauce. Maya orders the alpine meadow soup served in bread and presented on a little bed of hay. These are the breadsticks. <laughs> ravioli? So that was our first stop today at the Gustner Hotel and I give it a thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up. Okay, two <laughs> thumbs up. Both our meals were excellent. My ravioli was actually really, really good. It's surprising and presented very nicely with the flowers and even the flowers tasted good. 
and mine was very fragrant and it had the surprise of the chowder like sopping up the bread. It was delicious and fragrant and beautifully presented. I think and yours definitely wins the prize for most creative <laughs> dish and presentation. Yes, definitely. Tummies happily filled, we're on our way to the Rauchhütte, the smoke hut. But before we make it to the Rauchhütte, we stumble on another cute hut with panoramic views, the Tune Hut. On a whim, we decide to stop here for an intermediate course and we order a traditional Specknudel served on coleslaw. The staff here are super friendly. We love the rolling meadows spilling down from the hut and the 180 degree panorama views of the Sasso Mountains. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Danke. Danke schön. Bitte schön. Das sieht gut aus. Guten Appetit. Danke. The food is good and made with love, but some of the other huts have done even better bringing home cooked food to another level. And now we head downhill to the next and final hut of our quest, the Rausch Hut. The road for bikes and the bus stop make the hut very accessible even if you don't want to hike. What shall I eat? This hut is famous for its meats and polenta dishes. 50-50. What do you have there? Gnocchi made out of polenta. Very unusual. And we end with Kaiserschmarm. While it seems like breakfast to us, this dish is traditionally served as a main course and here as a dessert. It's the best Kaiserschmarm we've ever eaten. The pieces are made of thinner dough, like a crepe and toasted crisp. We have a history with Kaiserschmarrn. This redeems it all. Mm. Oh the food here was great, the people were super friendly, and the view is lovely. But with the road right here, it doesn't quite feel like we're in a natural wonder. Now we're in a bit of a quandary about which hut was the best. They're all great in their own ways. After long deliberations, here's our verdict. Guess what? We have a winner. The number one winner in Val Gardena for a mountain hut is Troita. Right behind us. Troia. <laughs> But who cares? <laughs> it's this hütte right here. And the reason we liked it so much is that uh, the setting, for one, um, beautiful setting, great views, and uh, very friendly service. And our food was actually surprisingly good. Even my very simple vegetable soup um, was surprisingly full of flavor and uh, nuance that I really wasn't expecting. So. Yeah. I was really happy and to I get ordered that. a salad and I was just expecting some green leaves and it was absolute, absolute beauty and really tasty beautifully presented and uh, with lots of various Variety. different yeah. cheeses and of course I had to steal a few <laughs> bites too and uh, I would order that again too yeah that it coleslaw was, was really good <laughs> and they have maybe next time a wiener schnitzel I had yeah. that on the menu and a couple other nice things so yeah We'll be back for sure. We'll be back. Come with us next time. Yeah.